Gabriel, there's something I need to tell you. What's that? Uh, what could you possibly have to tell me? The truth. My mother and I are just as much to blame for everything you've been through as your father is. Liberty. Mom, what's, what's going on? Something's happened. You're not going to believe this. Mom, what, what, what is it now? Gabriel's awake. Oh, thank God. And when he woke up, the first thing he said is that Craig is responsible for what happened to him. Wait, wait, that, that doesn't make any sense. I, I'm sorry, but I don't understand. Does he not remember the fight that we had before the yeah, fire? He remembers. But he also remembers waking up after you hit him, and he says that Craig was there, and he's the one who knocked him out, of, knocked him out before he set the fire. What does that mean? It means this is over, sweetheart. You're coming home. So as much as you think Craig abandoned you, he didn't. Yeah, well, he ditched my mother. But he didn't know that she was pregnant. My mother, Sierra, and I, we kept that from him for years. At your mother's request. Gabriel, I am sorry, more than I can say, but it's the truth. Craig used my mother and he, and he dumped her and, and never thought about her again. I can tell that you loved her very much. And you feel very protective of her, and that's admirable. Any mother would be proud to have a son like you. But here's the thing. In a relationship, stuff happens. And then it's kind of up to the two people in the relationship to decide whether or not they want to forgive each other or not, you know? Well, she never even had the chance to think about that. I am sorry. I mean, they said the cancer killed her, but I think she had a broken heart. And you blame Craig for that. I always will. Why are you here? Why do you want me to forgive him? You may always blame Craig for what happened to your mother, and that's your right. But I will always blame myself for not giving him the chance to make it right with you. Okay, so what are you gonna do? I'm gonna try to make it up to you. Oh, yeah, how could you possibly do that? I can help you, Gabriel. But you have to let go of your pride and let me. He's all yours! Margo. No, no, I'm done, Craig. I'm gonna go talk to the district attorney. So this is how it you ends You did this to yourself. Look, are these really necessary? Oh, I think they are. And if I didn't think I'd end up under the bright lights of IA, I'd hang you out of the window with shackles on your ankles. Look, I know what you think you've heard, Jack. So, okay, so Gabriel wakes up, he points a finger at you, and he's the one who's lying? Yes. So you didn't try to pawn off what you did on my son? Gabriel has it in for me. He's king. He can determine with the vendetta against me. But you know this already. You're the one who's the victim in all. In a word, it? yes, I am. So when you tried to feed Parker this baloney about him being responsible for trying to kill someone, specifically your son, you were the one who was hurt in all this, right? All I can tell you is that Gabriel is lying. He's made this whole thing. Up. Well, what else would you tell me, Greg? Like I know you'd think that about me. You almost ruined Parker. Life. You almost killed your own son, and if I could, I'd kill you myself, you lousy son of a bitch. <coughs> okay, I'm tired, okay, and I, I, I don't want any charity from anyone. This isn't charity, Gabriel. Okay, well then you're trying to ease your guilty conscience or whatever. Either way, I'm not interested. What are you gonna do when the doctors tell you you're ready to be released from here? What do you mean? You are facing blackmailing charges. And you're gonna have to fight them, and you are going to need a place to stay during that. I have a place. The Lakeview? You paid for that room with stolen money. I'm pretty sure that well is dried up. Fine, so, so what's your point? I want you to stay with me. With me and my family. <laughs> are you serious? I mean, I'm a blackmailer, remember? You really want me around your kids? I don't think you're a blackmailer, Gabriel. I think you were just trying to get close to your father. It's just a backwards way of trying to create a relationship. Why are you doing this? I owe you. Look, I've got a huge house. I got plenty of room. And I will be there to help you get through whatever comes next. Why, because you feel guilty? Because it's the right thing to do. Now rest up, feel better. I'll have a room waiting for you. <laughs>